Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sash. I am currently in Melbourne, Australia, where I am from. I've been living in Canada for about three and a half years now. So this is my first trip home since the pandemic. So I haven't seen my mum since March 2020 and my dad since January 2020. So yeah, two years, the longest time I've ever been away from home, but I am feeling summery. I've got a new Kmart dress on. I've got some bikinis on because I just came from the beach. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I am home and I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of a catch up for the past few days and what it has been like. So I'm about to see Cooper for the first time in two years. So let's hope he remembers me. Dad's going to film, so. So he hasn't suspected anything. I don't think he knows what to do. <laughs> See, I told you he'd wander off. Oh. <gasps> Oops. Oh, my baby. I'm shaking. Say hello to everyone, Koopy. <gasps> Koopy. Koopy. <laughs> He's camera shy. So I left Vancouver on Friday the 18th at 10.30 p.m. was my flight. From there, I flew direct to Sydney. It took about 15 and a half hours, which was reasonably fast. I think there was like a good wind or something. So it was a lot quicker than predicted. It normally takes around 17 hours. And of course, there are no Melbourne to Vancouver direct flights, it's just a little bit too far. So I had to change planes in Sydney to go down to Melbourne. The experience was weird going to an airport since the pandemic. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't as quiet, I guess, just because it's 2022 now and everyone's pretty much triple vaxxed. So yeah, going to Air Canada, all um, I needed the documents with the lady at Air Canada before she could let me check in my bag. So that is where they checked everything. So the documents for the, yeah, the border force, I needed all of that. I needed my certificate of vaccination, like the federal government one, and I needed the negative COVID test approved by a doctor. And you have to have those hard copies ready to go. There are so many people around me who are like rummaging around for it or getting up their phones, emailing it. Like it was just a lot and they were just taking up some time in the queue. So I was pushing these people away, got my documents ready straight to the front. And as soon as my bag was checked in, um, she told me that at Sydney, I had to collect my bags which is so bizarre. Normally, if you're, it's a direct flight to Melbourne and then the bags just go to Melbourne, even if you're swapping planes. But for some reason, I had to take my bags at Sydney. And then she said that someone at the Qantas would then take my bags for me and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, whatever. Got on the plane. It was so weird to be on a plane. I didn't have anyone next to me. I love sitting on the aisle because I have bad knees. Sitting on the aisle had a seat between me and this like cute girl. So she was probably like 18. And yeah, I was just laughing at her during the flight because the tray table was there and she just slept like that, like on her head was just on the tray table, but whatever works. Uh, the food was pretty good, had some pasta. Um, I didn't really watch any movies. I listened to podcasts and just, yeah, I didn't really sleep at all. I just wasn't tired. And then, yeah, about, I don't know, 15 hours later, I arrived in Sydney, it was so warm. Yeah, I even felt the heat just getting off the plane. It was like 23 degrees, it was so nice and sunny. And it was local time, like 9 a.m. But Vancouver time, it was like 4 a.m. the previous day. So it was it was a lot. I don't usually get jet lagged at all on the way to Australia. It's the way back to Canada that just like screws me over. Made it to Australia. I'm currently in Sydney and I'm just about to get my luggage and recheck it in and go to Melbourne. Yeah, getting to Sydney, I was so nervous because customs and everything, I was like, okay, everything would have changed since COVID. I don't know what's going on. Like had all my documents ready, was stressing out. And there were a few little booths, just like, it looked like um, public transit ticket booths. 
and it was called Smart e-service. So you could just go up and get a ticket for the next process. And I was like, okay, cool. I went up, it got me to put my passport in and then it just asked, were you in Africa or the Caribbean in the past seven days? I'm pretty sure that was the only question asked. And I said, no, next. And then it just went ee, 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 and just took photos of my passport, spat it out and then gave me a ticket. And then I grabbed the ticket and that was it. So then I was walking down towards customs, a bit unsure. And then there was a line for foreign passports and then Australian, New Zealand passports. So I was like, okay, go this way. And then there was a few queues and people just, again, rummaging around, didn't know what was going on. And a few more of those smart e-service things. So I had my ticket and then I just sort of went around people went up to this little booth thing, put the ticket in, and then you have to stand where it has your feet position. I have to stand there, look at the screen, take my mask down, have a photo, like there's a big flash, and then you put your mask back up and the doors just open. And then I pulled my ticket out and walked out and there was a few like border force people outside it. And they were just like, hey, and they just said hi, that I walked past and I was like, <laughs> was that it that was it that was the customs so I don't know if that's just because I'm Aussie and that was why it was so easy but it took three minutes the whole process and I was so stressed I don't know why I was stressed anyway then I went down a few steps and there was a few other border force people in like high-vis vests and this guy probably around my age was like hey do you have that yellow card do you have anything to declare and I'm like no nothing to declare he's like oh yeah no worries like, oh, do you want to see my card? Like I did it out. I did it on the plane. I've always like you've always had to do a declaration um, Yeah of your stay or visit or whatever on to go to Australia no matter where I've traveled all around the world since day one um, But he's like, yeah, nah, like it's fine And then yeah, but that was that was it so customs was very very easy nothing nothing changed nothing different just very quiet airport i guess like i haven't really been to sydney airport in a very very long time i don't really go to sydney i'm not from sydney um but yeah then we went down to we then i went down to the luggage area and it took nearly an hour to get my suitcase like it took forever everyone from yvr was just waiting for their bags a lot of us were transferring domestically to another flight, so that was very stressful. By the time I got my bag, everyone was just taking their bag with them out of the terminal to go to um, like the train, and the train takes you around the terminal because Sydney Airport's quite big, and there's a free train that takes you around. So I was sort of looking, and I'm like, okay, there's like no one around to take my bag. I think the lady at Air Canada was <laughs> maybe getting my hopes up, so I was like, okay, I guess it's just me, my little trolley, my suitcases, I'm out, I'm, I'm going for it. And I went outside, <laughs> and the train wasn't there, the train wasn't working, that's not running right now because of COVID. And I was looking around, I had no idea where to go. And then this lady came out of nowhere. I think she was part of like a bus service. She's like, what are you looking for, love? I'm like, I have to go get a domestic flight. And she's like, oh, there's a bus over there. I think you're gonna miss it. So I was like running over to it and the bus left. But there was about like 20 people already waiting for the next one. I was queuing up, looking at the time and the boarding time for my flight to Melbourne was at 10.40 a.m. It was 10.30 a.m. And I'm like, I don't think I'm getting this flight. And then I made friends with the people in the queue. There was a guy who'd just been to LA. He was going to Melbourne. The guy behind was going to Brisbane. And then there was a girl that I chatted to like on when I eventually got on the bus and she was going to Perth. So she needed to get a flight to Melbourne and then from Melbourne to uh, Perth. Anyway, classic Aussies were all just chatting and like complaining on the bus, but it eventually arrived. I was so hot and sweaty. It was so hot and I had like my plane outfit on. Anyway, I eventually got there, had missed the flight, was rushing for no reason. But yeah, Qantas were great. They just put me on the next flight, which was an hour later, which was fine. So I could freshen up, change into like a dress and yeah, go to Melbourne. And then after that, took uh, my parents were there, which was so great. And I did a rapid test at the airport before I saw them just so I could be super safe. And because I did that, and I don't, I don't think anyone else did in the airport, I uh, took my time and then I was hugging my parents. And then Georgia, my beautiful friend Georgia, popped out of nowhere and surprised me with flowers and all these beautiful gifts. And I was bawling my eyes out. I think it was more just the shock. Like, I love G, but like, what? I never get surprised. It's very hard to surprise me. So that was really beautiful and um, just very thoughtful. And I was so appreciative. So yeah, that was my 
my trip home. So I'm in Melbourne and I really wanted to get a rapid test to see if I'm okay. I've still got five minutes to go, but she's looking good. Um, I brought this one from BC just in my hand luggage because I'm going to wear a mask, but I'm just about to see my parents and yeah, I just didn't want to be in a car with them for like nearly two hours without being, being sure. And I'm going to do one in a, I think 72 hours they said, but yeah, I'm super excited to see them, but I'm in a uh, toilet all by myself until I get the result. Look who came to see me at the oh, airport. <laughs> Of course, mum and dad, <laughs> but they were they were expected. <laughs> G just came. I wish oh. I got that reaction on film. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> no, you G. <laughs> so that was great, and then yeah, from. <laughs> okay, we are back. So I have already been to Kmart, so I thought I would just do a little cheeky Kmart haul and show you guys what I got. I will tell you the price of everything and yeah, just a real mix of things. So I went with mom yesterday, just, you know, the obligatory Kmart trip, which I've been dreaming of, you know, dreaming of for months. So first up, I got this really cute storage cube. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I feel like I'm going to put it, put some like cables in it. I've got cables and just a plastic bag at home, but look how cute it is. There is a koala, very Australiana. This storage cube was, I think it was like six bucks. Let's have a look. $4.75. What a bloody bargain. So yeah, that's what it looks like there, obviously. So we love that for $4.75. Next up, there is a magnetized shopping list, which I just liked the pattern up the top and I think it was a dollar or like 75 cents, $2. And I just thought it was handy with the magnet. I, I always do a list for shopping, but it's on my phone, but this was just really cute. Can you be in focus? Thanks. Uh, yeah, $2, why not? Um, next up, Atomic Habits. Who doesn't have this book at this stage? You know, I am so obsessed, as you guys know, of self-development and just all of that fun stuff. So I've watched so many videos that quote James Clear. So I wanted to get this book here because I was Googling it before I came and it was the cheapest at Kmart. <laughs> That's me, love a bargain. How much was this? This was 22, so $22 brand new there was only two left in the whole of kmart so i picked that up yes there is a book section at kmart and an awesome yeah storage section stationary section all the sections okay next up i feel like elliot is gonna hate me for this but i got these fuzzy slides how cute are they you can't really see i'm not gonna put my foot on display but um yeah I have huge feet, so these are at nine slash 10, and they fit amazingly. These are gonna be like my slippers, my summer slippers, just for around the house. They're very, you know, thin, but somewhat well-made. You know, Kmart shoes, even though they're dirt cheap, they last really well. So that is the fuzzy slipper. They have this in a powder blue, which is really cute. Mum want, mom wanted me to get those, but black just goes with everything, and I just haven't got anything like this and it was really cute and these were six dollars six dollar redos as you can see so love a six dollar shoe will get a lot of wear out of this um next dress is this one that i'm wearing it was twenty dollars and it's this beautiful fabric very light i just wore it to the beach it has nice coverage over the shoulders very flowy, it goes just below my knees. I got this in a size 12, it was the only one there. And yeah, I love it. Next up, I picked up this linen blend top. Just, you know, cute top. It has little slits up the side like that. Very easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. And this one was 15. I got this one in a size 10. All of this is Aussie dollars and Aussie sizes, obviously. And yeah, love that. So this jumpsuit I picked up was in a size 12 again, and it has little button details just there, which is really, really cute. And you can adjust it. There are 
there's one larger and one smaller can't not see it there we go but trust and believe you can adjust the straps at the back there is a nice little zip it's a good zip it's not a dodgy one it is this linen blend again so it's a little bit see-through as you can see like the light through it just there but great for summer i love this cut i think it's really flattering especially with someone like me with a smaller bust but it's really cute it is a jumpsuit or play suit i guess i think they call it a play suit if there's a short at the bottom but yeah this is 20 bucks and in australia there's no tax added it's all together so this is just 20 20 love it there's so much cat hair on it and it's really crushed Sorry about it. These shorts were $15. I got a size 12 and they fit really, really nicely. They are the sort of short that I was after, like a little bit baggy around the thigh. You know, it makes the bum look great. I just don't have denim shorts right now that fit me. I had a weird growth spurt at the beginning of 2021. So my hips widened and I got a little bit taller. So I honestly can't fit into much of my bottoms anymore. So this is why I grabbed some shorts. So I have some denim shorts for my trip. These were yeah size 12 and they fit really really nicely but yeah i just love that color denim and i think this is it did i buy anything else oh i bought something for elliot but i'll save that for him some shorts love you babe miss you um already bought you some stuff and last but not least these were 20 dollars. they are the straight extra high rise ankle jeans i don't have any black jeans because at my old job i wore them and they ripped in the crotch which we love a girl with bigger legs it's bound to happen when you rub and you move around the friction yeah she got a hold so i have some black jeans they are high-waisted but they're quite long and they look a bit dorky if you don't roll them up so i rolled them up but yeah they're really really stretchy really comfy they have cat hair all over them already yeah i currently am with three cats and a dog at my parents house so there's going to be animal hair on absolutely everything and that is it so i spent just under 100 bucks i think on all of that and that is my kmart haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i got asked the other day why i moved to canada so i'm quickly going to address that because i completely forgot i moved to canada for my acting career i was in a really 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 bad emotionally abusive relationship and that ended in 2017 and i gave myself a year of saving and making money and trying to figure out what i wanted to do and then exactly a year after that um, relationship ended i went overseas and did this big euro trip and moved to canada so before the age of 31, you can get a two year working visa if you're part of the Commonwealth. So I wanted to go to Canada and work as an actor and yeah, just get more opportunities because I had heard of a few people who had done that. One girl from my uni. I feel like I've told this story before, but I think I've got a lot of new viewers in the past few months. So you guys probably don't know my story. So yeah, I moved to Canada for acting, got an agent in 2019 and booked my first gig in 2020 and booked another wait 2021 or 2020 2021 i booked a movie which comes out this year i don't know when but i'll let you guys know and i did some uh other work at the end of last year but yeah right now i'm really not sure what is going on with all of the acting stuff but that is the reason that i moved to that i moved to canada so that is that and vancouver is the hollywood of the north pretty much all of your netflix shows are filmed there most movies basically everything's filmed in vancouver it's a lot cheaper for the us to film there so that's why they film in vancouver toronto is also great but i didn't want to live somewhere that was that cold and i think it's a little bit more like melbourne so i wanted something a little bit different and that's why i moved to canada if you guys didn't know me coming back to australia right now is a lot of different factors i have some family stuff going on which is not great and it's an opportunity to see some friends who are having babies and uh, one of my best friends weddings is around this time so i just wanted to make sure that it was the right time to come over and yeah everything lined up and i was not happy in my job at all and yeah that's why i'm in melbourne right now and yeah hopefully you guys have now got a bit of an insight into what's going on with me let me know which item you liked out of the Kmart haul. I know it's not amazing, but you know what? I can't really get too much stuff because I have to go back to Vancouver in April. So thank you so much for watching again. Subscribe if you are new here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.